Don't forget to visit our eBay store, Miata Mecca, to purchase your shifter kits and parts. Everything from the insulator, shifter seal, to the shifter lever overhaul kits. Next, we're going to take a look inside the mechanism, and we'll show you the detents, the lockouts, and the shift mechanism inside. On the left side here, that's what you're going to feel when you actually take the shift lever and shift it into first gear. You roll it over, you can feel that detent. So let's take a look at that detent on this side. Got a little cover here. Two bolts and a little cover. And there's also a little gasket here, a little what they call an onion skin gasket. That's that real thin gasket. Little onion, thin, onion skin gasket right here. We'll pull that out. And here comes a cover. There's a gasket here, a spring. Spring. A ball. And here's the plunger. When the plunger comes out, you can see that the plunger is eccentric. You see how the hole is offset where the spring goes? This is where that ball and spring are going to ride. So that when you push it over, you can see there, it's going to slide on that step there. That's where you can feel it come over to first gear. So that's that lever. Inside, where the, sh the, the, the shift lever comes down, this piece looks like a butterfly. It has two wings. So it goes this way, presses over on this side, also comes over on this side for reverse and, and fifth. So this is for the first, and this gives you that feeling of coming over to first gear and pushes the lever back to neutral. On the other side, this is where there's the reverse and fifth plate. Now there's a cover plate here, and you also have on this side another piston and a spring. And when we take the cover plate off, we can see that rocker inside, the shift shaft with that butterfly casting, take that cover off, and you can see where that, that rocker is. There's where that ball socket is, where the, the nylon bushing on the end of the shift lever goes, and you can see how it rocks back and forth. So one side it comes over here, and this is the reverse lockout, over on this side, that's first and second. So that's the mechanism inside the shift lever, you can see, and there's first gear, come back, second gear, you can see the movement here. And then a neutral. Come on. What? Let's get it back to the neutral. Now this is the M5 5-speed transmission. Next, let's take a look at the 99 through 05 5-speed, known as the M15M-D. Now we overhauled the gear shift on the 99, the, excuse me, the 90 through 97 Miata, and we know that's single pin. There's a single pin. So this is the one that we overhauled. We put the new bushings on, the bottom bushing, pivot bushing here, and the pivot bushings for the ball. And this 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 shifter gear shifter actually has a nylon bushing in. Now on the 99s are set up different. They have two pins. So we're going to show you how to overhaul the 99 and up and the 6-speed transmission, the gear shifter. So first what we want to do is we want to take it apart. And like before, we're just going to take it right out of the transmission, three bolts. Here's the shifter seal. You can see the shifter seal on this is tore up. And now you can see there's the bottom bushing, the end bushing, and that's the upper bushing with this wave washer on it, and this is that bad uh, shifter seal. So what we want to do on the shifter seal, we're going to cut that out. Now you can see the difference on the, the gear shifter on this. There's two slots. There's no nylon bushing, and there's two slots, so you can see the difference. Turn it over. Now the two, the two pins make it difficult to get the bottom bushing out. So what I want to do is show you how to actually get the bottom bushing out. 
The simplest way is to actually to move one of the pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a punch and hammer, and the pin is right here. So what I'm going to do is just knock the pin forward. So I'll be able to move, actually come in and pull the bushing out. There's the bushing, and there's the wave washer on the bottom. So now we have this empty. Now when we go to put it back together, we're just going to push this pin back into place. So once it's back together, we put in our new wave washer. Let's do that together. Here we go. There's our new wave washer. A new wave washer goes in. Bottom bushing. The bottom bushing, you can see the bottom bushing is double notched. You use the same bottom bushing for all the cars. Slip that back in, one of the notches on the pins. There it is. Now we're going to just knock this back into place. Now one that's in the car, you, you could use a pry bar, you could use a pry bar to push it back in. You could push up against it when it's in the car. But we're just going to knock it back. And now our bottom pushing is in place. Remember how we did the shifter seal. We're going to take that box cutter, razor, and cut the seal out. Once we have the seal cut out, we can slip it over. Let's get the, the gear shift knob off. Slip it over, and then the top seals come off. Now we can see the bear shifter along with the other bear shifter. Early, 90 through 97 with a nylon. Single slot, double slot, 99 and the six speeds. The six speeds are a little different too. Some of the six speeds use a smaller bushing as the early cars. And the later six speeds use a bigger bushing. You can see the difference in size. So now you can see how to overhaul the 99 up double pin gear shift. And now we're looking right into the shift turret and we can see those, those lockouts. This cover here is actually a service cover, so when you disassemble the transmission, remember that roll pin that we looked at on the other M5 transmission? Now we can see another roll pin right here. That allows you to remove the shift rail out of the, the extension housing. So this is the M15 M. Dash D transmission, the shift turret on it. Next, we're going to look at the six speed, and that's a little different also. This is the 99 Mazda Miata six speed. The designation on it is Y16M D. And now this doesn't have a shift turret, so we don't add fluid here. So, we do, so when you service this shifter insulator and seal, we're not going to change any fluid or add fluid inside. So we're going to open it up. There's a couple common problems with this actually shift mechanism. One is that the shift mechanism gets loose and, and when you go to shift it, the bolts are loose and it elongates the holes that like hold this bracket down and then you have this very loose shifter and you can't select the gear. So you have to take the insulator off and look and see that these bolts have loosened up. So this is cause of a sloppy shifter on the six-speed transmissions. Now this is an early six-speed, so it doesn't have that bigger bushing on the bottom. So some six-speeds have the big bushing. That's a later model. I believe it's 01 through 05 has the bigger bushing, but the 99-2000 still has that smaller bushing. And it's also like the 99-M15 transmission. It's double slotted. So if you take this plate off, we can see that there's really no shift turret. There's no mechanism. There's no detents. There's no lockouts. All that's incorporated inside the transmission itself. So this is the six-speed transmission. Anytime you service 
the shifter, like even when you service this mechanism here, you would grease everything. You would grease the ball socket, you would grease the bushing. So always use plenty of grease when you're putting these mechanisms together. So this is that six-speed transmission, and you can see you might have a small bushing or a large bushing, depending on what you have there. Next we're going to talk about a poor man's short shifter. And a poor man's short shifter is something we do here in the shop when you have an aftermarket radio that sticks out too far away from the dash. So when you shift gears, you actually change your radio stations with your knuckles. So we're going to, it's called a knuckle buster. So we're going to show you how to shorten your gear shifter, your stock gear shifter on the Mazda Mi. I create a short shifter for the poor man. So here's our shift lever. You can see I've got it hooked up in the vise here now. Now to shorten this, we're going to actually we want to cut the threads down longer on the shaft. You see we can go down probably, oh it looks like another three quarters of an inch. But once we do that, okay, we can't really use the stock shift knob. The stock shift knob is actually set to go all the way down on the taper. So the stock shift knob will not go any lower. So when you do this job, you may create a short shifter, you're going to want to put a different knob on that actually threads and stops right here. Now the thread size on this is 10 by 1.25. So that's 10 millimeter diameter by 1.25 pitch on the threads. So you want to start this die on here, get it going. You don't want to cut it first. What you want to do is actually use the die first. So we're going to put the die down, and then we're actually going to run the die all the way down until we cut our new threads. So now we're, we've cut it all the way down. Let's take a look at it. You see we've cut our threads all the way down to the base, so we can actually put the knob on and shorten, take the knob down probably an inch. Now before we cut this shaft, we want to leave the die on it. We want to leave the die, and so maybe we'll cut the shaft, we'll take about an inch off of it. And then we'll have that much of a thread left to put our knob on. So that's the poor man short shifter. Cut it, leave the die on it, take the die off after you do your cut. That'll leave you a fresh thread, clean thread to thread your knob back on. You might want to clean it up with a file also. The poor man's short shifter. Well, we're almost done. We've got our rebuilt shift lever in, we've got our new insulator on top, but Mazda has you know, used that kind of a uh, cloth in here as an extra insulation. Here at the shop we use a piece of carpet padding. So we'll take a piece of carpet padding and we just use scissors to cut it. And once we have it into shape, we'll rough it into a shape something like this. So this would be our replacement insulation for that insulation that the Mazda had used. So this is just a piece of carpet padding. You pick up a remnant or a piece of this over at your local carpet shop. So cut it to size. I'm going to fit it right in there. So that's going to be our new insulation right there. We're almost ready. We're going to put our center console back on. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this video, and we'll see you around the next time.